Welcome to my Registrator tutorial. Registrator is a free program you can get on the net and for me it's the ideal program for editing video files. When you first open up Registrator this is what you'll see. Let's not worry about any of these screens for the moment but let's just take a few minutes to actually set Registrator up which is done on the view menu. Just click on this menu and you've got some options. The first one, language. Well obviously I set it to English because that is my own language, but you can set it to any language you like. Next one is Profile. In my case, my dash cam has both GPS and a G sensor. You can set it to whatever your dash cam has. Next one is Maps. Well, I generally tend to use the Open Street Maps for no other particular reason than it's top of the list. Google Maps is just as good as any. Next option is Arrow on Map. Now that's the, the arrow size over here on your GPS logging that shows your direction. I have it big because I just like to see things instantly. Time points. Well, my camera records in five minute chunks. So I have a time point on the GPS track over here. It's not visible now, but I'll show you later when we get to the GPS bit. Next option is show panels, re is panels refresh. In this case, we want the fast option so that the panels keep up with all the data that's coming in. Next option is measurement. Obviously, if you're overseas, you can use kilometers. I'm in Britain, so I use the British system of feet and miles. Next option is timeline. Now, I use local system, which is my PC clock. All the time that my PC clock is correct, the date and time read off of my files will be correct. The next options we look at are file list. Well, I keep this ticked because that's this file list over here, which is pretty important, as you'll see later on. Control panel I keep ticked. That's this panel down here. That's where you control your replay, and it also shows you some details from the G-sensor and your speedometer and your sat-nav. And lastly, details I keep ticked because that shows you the details of the file. Now let's look at importing files into Registrator. In my case, and with many cameras, I can connect my camera directly via its USB port to my PC. If your camera is connected to your PC and it's on, when you open up Registrator, it will automatically pull up your file list into this box here. However, a lot of people have to take the memory card out of their camera and put it into their PC. This section will deal with how to get the files into Registrator from a memory card. In my case, my memory card is on USB Drive J. So what we do is we just click plus here and it calls up an explorer. And all you do is you navigate to where your files are. And as I said, it's on my USB Drive J. It's in the folder marked DCIM 100 Media. This is pretty standard for all cameras. They store it in this format. There's my files. What I'm going to do is I'm going to import every file that's on the camera at the moment. So what I do is I click the first file in the list, scroll all the way down to the bottom, press my shift key, then click the last file in the list. As you can see, they're all highlighted. I just click open. Registrator will now pull those files into the program in this file list down the bottom. But that's not all it's doing. If you look there, it says preview 80%. What it's doing is it's putting all of the files together into groups. And if there's any GPS information available, it's looking for that as well. Now that can take a few minutes for it to do that. So we'll come back to that in a couple of minutes. Registrator has now processed all of the files here. It's done a couple of things. First of all, it's looked at all of the files and it's put them into groups of files so that you're not dealing with so many files. In this case, it's files 45 to 70 are in a single group and are in a single file. It's also looked to see if there's any GPS information to go with those files, as you can see. Over here, I've got GPS information. It actually tells me how long the trip was, what speed it was, what size the file is and what resolution the file is. Now these are five minute chunk files and my camera will store 33 hours of files. Now I don't want to work with 33 hours of files, I just want to edit a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds of action out of just a couple of files. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to this control here which is ungroup. This separates all the files into their individual files. So we just click that. As you can see it's ungrouped them. 
Now, I only want to work with two or three files at the most. So I'm just going to pick some at random. I'll pick that one, and I'm going to lock it using the lock key up here. I click lock. That file's now locked. I move to the next file. Click lock. That file's now locked. Move to the third file. Click lock. That file is now locked. The reason I have locked these files is very simple, because I'm going to delete all of the others. I'm not going to use them. These are the three files that I want to be working with. So all you do is you right click on the file, click delete all unlocked files from disk. There's a warning here. If you make a mistake and you delete the files, they are gone forever. You can never get them back. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to delete them all. You've got a requester. Are you sure you want to full delete all the unlocked files? There's no way to recover these. Make sure you're absolutely certain. If you are, click yes. As you can see, Registrator is going through all of the files on your disk and it's just deleting all of them. There it goes. An awful lot of files and it should just leave us with our unlocked, with our locked files. That's it. Now, let's just look at one of these files and we'll view it. We'll click, click the top one. Over here are the transport controls. Play is quite obvious. You just press play and it does it. What you can do is you can play it back at four times, 16 times, 64 times, or even quarter speed. Down here, we've got the information that the G sensor has picked up, and it's giving you all the details from, and it's also telling you how many minutes we are into the file. In this case, the slider is just at the two minutes, which means we're into two minutes into the file. So we'll just pause it there. Now let's say we want to take some information out of this file. It's five minutes long. We want to edit it down just to show the important highlights. So we pick the point on the file that we want. We can do this by using the slider. In this case, let's pick the first minute. OK, we'll extract this guy with the dog. And let's see where he goes. First of all, to make an extraction, we right click and we put select section A or set selection start A in current position. Do that and it highlights from the cursor to the right. Now let's have a look and see where this guy with the dog disappears to. We'll play it back at normal speed. There he goes, he's walking along. I wanted to go a bit faster, so I'll play it back at four times. There we go. Right, he's just going out of shop now, so we'll cut it there. We just want to extract that bit of film. So all we do is we just right click again, set selection end at B in current position. That's it. We've now selected a section which is just over 12 seconds long. To export that so that people can see it, right click again and click select or so save selected fragment. Click on that and as you can see up here we've got all the information we need. What time it started, what time it finished, what speed and how long it is. It also asks us if you want to just save the video, the audio or the GPS details. Well in this case, in this file, I'm going to save all three. All you then do is you can either accept the default file name down here, but I don't usually. I like to name my files something meaningful so I can find them again. So in this case, we'll just click man dog. That's it. And then to extract it, all we do then is click start. As you can see, it's extracted the file and it's actually put it in the file list over here called man dog. You can check that it's exactly what you want just by clicking on it and pressing play. As you can see, it's giving me the timeline again, showing it's 13 seconds long and it's only the information I wanted from the file that's been extracted. Perfect for just editing a five minute clip down to 30 seconds. However, sometimes you want to take information from one file and another file. How do you do that? Well, that's easy. Unfortunately, Registrator has a problem that it keeps automatically grouping files when you don't want it to. So just click ungroup again. And let's say the action we want. Well, part of it is in this file and part of it is in this file. So how do we get information from two separate files into a single file? Well, that's very easy. All we do is we click on the first file we want and we click group with up here. Do that and a requester comes up. The file's already ticked. The second file we want is this file here. So we just tick it and we just click group. Now what that's done is that's put those two files together as a single file. Click it and it comes up on your timeline. Now, if you look, you've got your minutes back up there again. As I said, my camera records in five minute chunks. There's my first file. You can see the dividing line there. The second file, for some reason, was only two and a half minutes long. Maybe I turned the camera off or something like that. 
But let's say the action we want actually runs over the two files. Again, just like before, move the slider to where you want to start the extraction, in this case here. Click, set selection start A, move it to the end, click, selection start B. That's it, the information you want is highlighted. All you do is you click select save fragment. Again, it calls up all of the information about the two files that you're going to save. Once again, all you need to do is click start. As you can see, once again, it's called it up into the file list and it saved it in the directory you wanted it saved in, which in my case is a temporary working directory on my main hard drive partition. I didn't give the file a name, but you can tell it's an extractive file because here in brackets it says FR. That stands for fragment. That means you've extracted a fragment which spans across several files. If you click play, you can actually see that there is no join visible on the screen at all. It's absolutely seamless, the join. We'll just run that forward at 16 times. There we go. No join there at all. We'll stop that for a minute because I'm now going to show you something else. Go back to the ungroup control. Let's pick this file. Let's pick part of this file. We'll say from there. Again, I'm going to extract it. Set selection start A in current position. I'm going to go there, select section B in current position, I'm going to go there, I'm going to click save selected fragment, but this time I'm looking at it and what I want to do is I actually want to slow it down. So I just click edit, click the file I want, click edit, and as you can see it tells me when it's started, when it's ended and what speed the file will be saved at. In this case I'm going to slow the file down, I'm going to slow it down to one quarter speed. That's it. You just click OK. And now, when you save it, we'll give it a different file name. We'll call it Slow. Just to find it again easy, we'll call it Slow. Slow. And we click Start. As you can see, it's saved the file out and it's called Slow Motion. Or well, that's what I named it. Just click on it. Just press Play. And there you go. It's actually playing it back in slow motion. I actually had 16 times there clicked. If you click one times, you can see I've actually managed to play it back at one quarter of the speed. That file was saved on my disk like that. Now, here's where we get really clever. We can actually mix the files up with Registrator. Let's just stop that file for a minute. Let's just say I want the man dog clip and the slow motion clip to be in a single file. Well, it's very simple. All I do is I click group. There's the mad dog already ticked, there's the slow motion, click group. That's it, they are now in one file. As you can see, if I play them on the screen, I'll just wind this forward a bit uh, at 16 times just to get into the action. There we go, you can see. There's my mad dog walking. And now we go to the slow motion, an almost seamless change, and you've got a single file. Now, to make those into one complete file, again, you do exactly the same thing. Let me just pause it here. Where this area here is grey, that's because the camera wasn't recording between 1903 and 1907 that day. It's a very handy way for you to be able to find out the part in the file you want. But, let's just go back and turn that into one complete file. So we'll do that at the start. As you can see, select selection in current A position, boom, done. And I want to go all the way to the end of the file, which is that one. And it's already highlighted for me, so I know that it's going to save. So all I do is I right click, save selected fragment. It shows me how long I'm going to save it for, all the information, what speed I'm going to save it at. Bear in mind we've already slowed the file down, so we only need to save it at normal speed. And that's it. As you can see, I've called it new file over here. Click that, open it press play and it's one single file ready to be uploaded to your favorite dash cam website or group very simple i've combined two files i've added some slow motion you can do the exact opposite not only can you slow your clips down but you can speed your clips up by clever editing and taking out the files you need and then combining them you can actually make quite an interesting video with all sorts of different effects in it all from a free program just stop that for a minute Let's just go back to these files and just talk briefly about the GPS. Here's the GPS track that's showing in the window. 
If I want to, if I know where I was at a certain time, but I don't know what time it was, I can just click on the GPS track and it will take me to that point in the film. Again, here, click there and it will take me to that point in the film. Very simple using OpenStreetMaps, works on any file that's got the GPS information in it. Over here, well, there was no GPS information in that file, but let's go back to this one. Over here, not only does it allow you to transport the tape, but it also shows you what your G-sensor was doing, what direction you're heading in, and what your speed is if you have a GPS camera. Just press play, and it will all come up once it's all been processed properly. Sometimes it does take Registrator a few minutes to do this, but believe me, it will all come up. That's it. I hope that's helped you to be able to use Registrator to edit and make smaller films rather than uploading five minutes at a time. Thanks.